How deep is our ocean? Just how much life exists down there? And what does coral have to do with bones? Hello, and welcome to What the What, the show about fun facts and a little bit of science. Today, we're talking about nine facts about our ocean. And why nine and not ten? Well, I wasn't numbering them, and then, you know, I got lazy. <laughs> Number one. Not a good start. Number one, 70% of our planet is covered by water. You probably already knew that. But if all the ice that was on the planet melted, the sea level would rise by 216 feet, finally covering all of Florida. I mean, uh, oh no, Florida. <laughs> Number two, the average depth of our ocean is 14,000 feet, or 14 Eiffel Towers stacked on top of each other. And that's a little bit less than half of the average commercial airplane, which flies around 30,000 feet. So hopefully that kind of gives you a visual assistance of what that looks like for this one. We have actually explored as low as 36,000 feet below sea level, below the top of the... But before we get that deep, let's dip our toes in first. Number three, when you go to the beach and you run out into the ocean and you get a mouthful of salty ocean water, you're not only taking in water and salt, you're taking in a load of crab larva, diatoms, fish eggs, zooplankton, and worms. <laughs> this is a photo of a single drop of seawater magnified at 25 times. <laughs> Wait, we just started at the tippy top of the ocean with a single drop of water and there's that much life in there? Can we please move on before I barf everywhere? First, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and if you have, then click the share button. Send it off onto the social waves of the internet. Number four, from an octopus that has camouflage to a bioluminescent dragonfish, the creatures that we have seen in the ocean are absolutely mesmerizing and sometimes disgusting. Oof. We've actually found more than 228,000 species in the ocean, but anywhere from 2 to 50 million species still have yet to be discovered. Since the ocean is so vast and so deep, unfortunately, most likely, in our time... Since the ocean is so vast and so deep, most likely, we'll never make a dent in that number in our lifetime. I mean, we're still finding species on land, and humans have been on land since we've existed. Number five. Okay, this one's a little bit weird. Coral. Okay. Uh, this stuff. Okay. Since it has the same chemistry as human bones. Okay, that's not weird. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> well, coral has been used in bone grafts to help human bones grow quickly and better. Yep. Uh... That's the weird part. You found the weird part. At first, when you brought it up, I didn't think it was going to be weird. And then you said the thing about the coral being inside your body, and we found the weird part. That's... Oof. Number six. There's gold in them there waters. That's right, gold. So grab the pickaxe and follow me with my old lantern, and we're going to go out into the high seas and find some gold. Yes, there is gold, but it's actually so diluted, it's one part per trillion. In other words... Stick to the hills out west, old prospector. Oh, dang it! Number seven. Unfortunately, with all these magical wonders of the oceans, humans have found a way to ruin it. In the 1970s, tons of toxic pharmaceutical waste was dumped into the ocean at the Puerto Rico Trench. Due to delays in building a better solution, what was supposed to be a short-term thing went on well into the 80s. And the results were catastrophic to the local marine life. But don't worry, we as humans have dumped way more into the ocean than just pharmaceutical waste. Sewage sludge, ocean mining waste, high level and low level radioactive waste, munitions, ships and boats, tires, and the Apollo 13 power source containing 8.5 pounds of plutonium. <laughs> oh, America. Um, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Uh, number eight. This is a bit of a bonus because it's not exclusive to oceans, but earthquakes, they actually happen all over the planet. 
Duh. In 2011, just off the coast of Japan, there was an earthquake that hit so hard, it actually shifted the Earth's axis between 10 and 25 centimeters, causing the day to actually be shorter. We have discovered how to alter time itself. <laughs> It only shortened the day by 1.8 milliseconds, so... What? <sighs> Number nine. The deepest part of the ocean is... The deepest part of the ocean that we are aware of is more than 36,000 feet, or 6.8 miles. I say that we are aware of. <laughs> I say that we are aware of because the ocean is so vast and complicated, we actually have a better idea of what the surface of Mars looks like versus the ocean floor. That's wild. We know more about a planet that's not that close to get to than we do to just walking out in the ocean. Okay, you can't just walk into it, but... This depth that we are most familiar with is referred to as Mariana's Trench. Located south of Japan near the Mariana Islands, where it gets its name, obviously. Mariana's Trench has been the number one spot since 1875. While it takes an incredible team of scientists with big old brains and lots of numbers, math and things, to create a submersible machine capable of the depths of the ocean and all the pressure, the beloved film director James Cameron is the person that made it the deepest in a single man sub. In 2012, he descended to 35,756 feet. Whew. Whew. It's so intense I can't even make a real sound. Whew. He was alone, by himself, in a single-person sub. And he also managed to find 68 new species, like this one. Even with all his money and tech and crazy science stuff, he still only managed to make it a few feet, actually, shy of a team that went down in 1960. So wait, there was a 50-year span, and we still couldn't get beyond that depth? Technology has advanced a lot since 1960, obviously. I mean, it's just, it's incredible to think that we've made more shuttles and missions outside of our atmosphere than we have deep into the Marianas Trench. Within this vast ocean, there's so many discoveries waiting to be discovered. In fact, we've only explored less than 10% of our oceans. Who knows what's down there waiting to be found? Maybe a megalodon or some old dinosaur that survived. Or maybe the kraken. As always, thanks for watching, and what did you learn today? Release the Kraken!